And good evening everybody. Sorry about the poor lighting, I got in here kind of late, but if you're wondering where I am today, we're at Harold Parker State Forest, Dandover, Massachusetts. Yes, it's about 20 minutes from my home. <laughs> uh, we're doing what I'm calling my first micro-adventure. I am just here for one night. I was actually uh, did all my normal work-related stuff. As, as I've mentioned in earlier videos, I am a self-employed computer tech. And I did uh, all my work-related stuff, things like that. Took care of what I needed to do for the day. Also uh, did grocery shopping for the family. Cause I, uh, I helped my mother out there because she's uh, got some, some mobility issues. So, so I go out and help her uh, by doing the grocery shopping and things like that on Tuesdays. And then after all that, I had dinner at home, and then I took off. So I'm going to spend just one night here at uh, Harold Parker, and tomorrow morning I get back up again and go back to work. But tonight we're just going to have a quiet evening by the, um, well, <laughs> not, not much of a fire at the moment here, but we'll get that going. Uh, this is the wood I bought here at the campground. It's a little on the dry side, but... Yeah, it's it's about eight o'clock. We're we're losing the light pretty quickly, so I'm not sure how much uh, video I'm going to be able to shoot tonight in the darkness. But uh, I might string my lights out here so we have a little bit of light to work with. But uh, other than that, we have some things to show you before the uh, video is out here. I worked on an interesting little project over here. As you can see, I now have a small side window. The rest of it is a solid black. Well, we'll talk about that later in the video how I did that, but. I think it came out pretty good. It's still a work in progress. I did not shoot video of the uh, project, but I have two more windows that I need to do the same thing to, so there'll be a video coming on how I do it once I'm satisfied with the results. <laughs> uh, but in the meantime, let's see if we can get this fire going right here. I know, it's not great lighting, but I've got fire, and I've got light now, so <laughs> we're doing all right over here. So uh, should be a nice, fun, quiet evening. A little closer to the lights, you can see me better. Uh, uh, just string the str string up from the side of the van up to the tree over here. That's good enough. That gets me some light going here. So, anyway, over here at the light here, I want to show you a little cool little app that a friend uh, told me about. It's called Merlin. It's a free download. It does take a fair amount of space on the phone, so you might want to. Make sure you got lots of memory on it. But it has the ability to recognize bird calls by sound. Turn that on, click that. Not sure if you can read it, but it says gray catbird. all it's hearing right now so apparently that's all that's out there but earlier today it was kind of neat when I first got to the campground let me get oops, back into the light here <laughs> when I first got into the campground I ran a different app, different try on it ran it for three minutes 14 seconds this was about uh, eight o'clock just around eight a little after eight and a lot of birds chirping and the program heard an American Robin Gray catbird, song sparrow, chipping sparrow, oven bird, red winged blackbird, common yellow throat, blue jay, and a northern flicker. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad. I'm loving this app here. If I hear a strange bird call, I can now identify it. So I'm going to have some fun with this app out here. That's for sure. And it's free. You can't beat it. Works for Android or iPhone, so. Whatever you happen to have, I do suggest it. It's a fun little app. Uh, anyway, I'm going to go sit for a few minutes by the fire here and just relax now. It's been a busy day. <laughs> wow. almost look evil. <laughs> this is just the glow from the fire. It's a kind of a funny fire pit here. We'll look at it more in the daytime uh, in the morning here, but uh, we're not going to get in too much outdoor video here tonight, but that's all just glow from the fire on my face. You can see the shadow from it there, and I put my hand in front of it. 
Uh, wow. <laughs> oh well. So good morning. I actually had a decent night's sleep there for my first ever micro adventure. Spent the night here at Harold Park Estate Forest and now I'm making coffee. <laughs> the, the important part. So we're just waiting for the water to heat up. We're just going to use the pour through coffee maker, make one cup, and probably uh, get dressed and make breakfast outside the van this morning at the picnic table instead. It's not too bad out. Was it 51 degrees? So I'll certainly be wearing a sweatshirt. <laughs> but uh, that's not too bad out and nice to stretch my back out and everything. So, but first, coffee. Definitely coffee. <laughs> oh, it's still too early in the morning for me. <laughs> I'm just not a morning person. But I got my coffee. And sorry about any flicker you might see in this next video clip here, but. We're still running those uh, AC powered lights inside the van and sometimes it causes some flicker of the camera with the uh, 60 hertz uh, flicker that's in the lights. So uh, eventually we'll replace those with some DC powered lights and that should solve that problem. But anyway, I figured to you before I get dressed and get out of the van here, we'll show you some of the uh, changes I've done in the van. I said I was going to talk about that window set up here. So. So this is what the inside of that window is. There's the light flicker I was talking about. But this is what the inside of that window looks like right now. You can see I've got the uh, little window frame that I built. And yeah, my typical construction things are a little crooked. <laughs> I can't get something in a straight line to save my life. But I got that, and you see I've covered the glass. What I actually covered this glass with is Flex Seal. The, uh liquid rubber stuff that's supposed to seal leaks but I don't think it really works so well for that but certainly did a good job of uh, covering up the glass yeah there's some weak spots here like you can see that there but what I'm gonna do next I'm gonna stuff this all filled with insulation probably just the uh, panel insulation like I did in the rest of the areas of the van and then I'm gonna put a piece of paneling over the whole thing obviously leaving a cutout for the window that's gonna connect into these metal brackets and the sides of the van. And the metal brackets, by the way, were just done with self-drilling screws right into the body of the van here. Up there, you can't see this one because of the CO detector right there, but there's one there. That just bolts into there, and this is bolted into that, right into the metal there. I did put a little black rubber gasket around the front where, where it comes in contact with the glass, so the wood's not directly in contact with the glass. And it looks okay, it doesn't look great, but it looks okay. One person suggested I probably should have contoured these edges of the window to match the uh, outside window to make it look better. Yeah, that's probably not a bad idea, but it's beyond my skill level. That's what I've been working on. And as I said, I've got this window to do the same thing to, and I want to do the same thing to that window down there. And so we're going to be documenting the process on one of the windows once I'm sure I've got everything down the way I want on that window. So it will be an upcoming video on how I actually did this upgrade. A couple other things I want to show you. Made some changes over here on the counter area. First of all, that drawer unit was down on the floor in the kind of in the way all the time, stuck on a little bit of a walkway, but I moved it up here instead where it's much more easy much easier to access the drawers in it. I put my uh, radio equipment on top of it instead, my ham radio equipment. So I have easy access to the radios too. So it seems to work out well. I still have my area down in the end there where I can set up to eat meals and things like that or pull out the laptop if I need to and things like that. I put these plastic bins in here for now. There's three of them all together. This is just a temporary setup because eventually I want to build a proper cabinet over here. But the one that's sitting on top of the fridge over there, that's got uh, all food in it. All the non-perishable stuff, so I can easily slide that out and bring it over to the picnic table. You'll see that in a little bit. This one on top here is my bin of coffee. That's got my coffee maker, plus uh, uh, the, the jar of coffee and sugar and that. The one on the bottom is all like propane tanks, things like that, stuff that uh, I need there. And my butane, that, that sort of stuff for the stoves and grills and those things. And yeah, so we got the lamp here, I got the 
the speakers. So I got a nice little sound system I can listen to music on. And uh, yeah, this is, seems to be working out well. And it'll it'll keep evolving as I build the other setup here. This side hasn't changed any, but I actually want to get this countertop done first. So that's why I didn't mind making these modifications over here because this is just going to be a short-term temporary setup anyway. But it's going to be here for a little while. But I want to get that side done first because I really want that sink. So that's the uh, van setup in a nutshell here. What I'm working on right now. So, like I said, we got the other window to do. We got to finish this window though. Because, yeah, even even here in the end of May here, I could feel the cold coming off the window there because my head's my pillow's right here in front of this window, and so I need to get that insulation into it. But uh, it's 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 working. I kind of like the setup there. I got this nice little window I can look out now. So just this blank wall here, and before I had the insulation panel, it's kind of sticking out and it's not sticking out anymore. So. Gives me a little bit more room too, so I like it. I think it's going to work out well. So I can't wait to do more work with it. And uh, yeah, so the other thing I want to talk about too is uh, I seem to be going through a little bit of a minor health issue that could have some impact on some of my camping adventures coming up, and my plans. But uh, I'm not quite sure what the issue is, but on. Uh, started out on the last trip uh, one that I didn't shoot any video well I shot a little bit of video but not enough to actually publish so you didn't see any video of it but I went out back out to Ohio for the uh, uh, Dayton Hamvention again with a couple of friends which is why I didn't shoot much video there uh, I was too busy uh, gabbing with them and having a good time so not a lot of video on that trip but but uh, started out there, I had a minor bout of constipation. I took some uh, docolax and that took care of that problem. But when I got back a couple of days later, I started feeling something down in my lower abdomen area. I'm not sure what, it just feels like a little bit of pressure with a, a occasional, uh, occasional ache. So I don't know if I gave myself a hernia while I was trying to push harder than I should have or what I did. It's minor. Hasn't been a rage, major issue, but me and my infinite wisdom didn't have health insurance, so. So that's being worked on right now. <laughs> Should have that in uh, about a week or so, and then we can go get this checked out. But in the meantime, I'm taking things a little bit easier. I'm not trying to push myself too much because I don't want to make things worse. So we're just going to be some lighter lighter duty uh, trips here in the coming days but anyway just figured I'd put that out there in case uh, in case something happens there that takes me off the road for a couple of weeks at least you know what's going on anyway all right I guess uh, time to get cleaned up a bit get dressed and then we'll get outside and start making some breakfast I'm up, I'm dressed. Yeah, I was gonna put a sweatshirt on, but it actually warmed off quite a bit. It's, look at all those birds. Pull out that Merlin app again here. It actually warmed up quite a bit though. It's 60 degrees out here and the humidity's at like 73%. So I decided to just do the uh, regular shirt. Uh, anyway, yep, time to get some breakfast on and unfortunately with this being a micro adventure I really can't stick around and enjoy the campground too much because well I, I gotta get back to work again so <laughs> yeah gotta pay for these little adventures so but uh, so far it's been a fun little micro adventure let's pull that Merlin out though for a minute let's see what's going on out here Merlin sound ID start Probably can't read it, but 
adding lots of stuff on quickly. <laughs> there are a lot of birds here. All right, <laughs> so in, in one minute of recording there, I got American Robin, Red Winged Blackbird, Song Sparrow, Oven Bird, Pine Wobbler, Common Yellow Throat, Blue Headed Vireo, Tuft, tis, yeah, tuft Titmouse, and an Eastern Kingbird. <laughs> That's just one minute of just listening here. This place is awesome. Anyway. <laughs> All right, let's get some breakfast going. All right, so this is the new bin of food idea. As you can see, it's just got all the uh, non-perishable stuff in it. I can easily just grab it, bring it out to the picnic table here, and I can prep my food right here at the picnic table. It's perfect. Absolutely a perfect setup there. And took my cooking spray out for something at home and I forgot to put it back. Of course I did. <laughs> Typical. Oh <laughs> well. Uh, so obviously uh, the, the fridge has to stay in the van where it's got power, but at least I have easy access to all the non-perishable stuff here this way. So today we're just actually going to make this. Nice little simple croissant breakfast. And like all good meals, we start with bacon. this package off. It's gonna be a lot of bacon, but <laughs> yeah, I don't know. You know, whatever. A lot of bacon in this little pan, what can I say? <laughs> Let's just kill it off. Good news is the bacon will shrink and it will fit better as it goes along. Here comes the finished breakfast. Let me see if I can actually get this thing off the uh, frying pan without it sticking, of course. <laughs> uh. There we go, look at that. Oops. Oh. Piece off two here. Yeah, there's the finished sandwich right there. Look at that, nice and fat and thick. We've got a couple extra pieces of bacon and some hash browns, so we got myself a really good breakfast here and I think we're gonna go eat it now. Well this turned out to be a very quick adventure. <laughs> Not surprising, it's kind of what I expected it to be. I never even really left the campsite after I got here. I kind of just hung out here, enjoyed some time at the fire pit last night and uh, uh, just relaxed for a bit. Got off the grid for, for a night. That's all. Didn't do much. But anyway, we're all packed up and ready to head out. Let me give you a quick tour around this campsite anyway. They got a nice little picnic table over here. It was pretty level where they've got it too, so that was good. You got a little grill in case you wanted to cook some food out here. I didn't have a chance to partake in that, but maybe another visit. Funny little fire pit. Obviously seen a lot of heat looking at the shape of the grate on it. There's my van, little fan jack. Ready to head home. Another thing I like about this campground here is that every site seems to have a water spigot. Get this up here. Heck, I could even hook a hose up to it and have uh, running water in the van if I wanted to. And you see the site across the road here has the same thing. Got a little water spigot on it. So I thought that was a nice touch. It's got some sort of a cap on it, too. <laughs> Interesting. But yeah, every site seems to have one. I'm not sure if that's true of every single site here, but a lot of them certainly do. So that was a, a nice addition to you. I've never seen that at a state park campground like that before. And there's also some sites with electricity here, too, I understand. 
But yeah, that's it. We're all packed up. The only thing, even got the weather station in and everything else. So pretty much ready to take off here. So this definitely will not be my last visit to Harold Parker. I mean, I've got a lot more of these uh, micro adventures planned for the coming summer here. Now, I'm not sure how this place is going to play out uh, in the warmer months because all that area behind me, that whole space back there, that's all swampland. <laughs> so there's going to be a lot of mosquitoes here. So that's something to keep in mind. Right now it's still May. Late May. Tomorrow's going to be June. But mosquitoes really haven't come out in force yet. So I've seen a few, but not many. So, But I have a feeling as the uh, season progresses, this place is going to turn into a uh, massive pile of mosquitoes. So... Outside of that, this site has been perfect. Site 211. It's, it's all just woods up here. There's no neighbors there. There's no neighbors over here. The next site over that way is the group site, and that's not likely to be occupied in a midweek trip like this one on a Tuesday, Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. And the, the only site there is the neighbor site across the road, and that's it. It's otherwise nice and quiet here, so I like this site. I chose a good site there, considering that I didn't really have anything to base my info on other than just the map. So this was a good location. So definitely we'll be coming back. Uh, love to do a whole tour of the campground for you, but that didn't happen this trip because uh, again, this was just a quick overnight. But we'll definitely be back here. It's like only 20 minutes to, for me to get here from uh, my regular home. And uh, yeah, it should be a lot of fun. So I get 14 days. So let's see whether five, five and four, there we go, <laughs> 14 days. Uh, total this season I can stay here so most of my trips here are just gonna be like these one night little mini trips like this one was uh, I may even try uh, taking my scooter out here just do a, a, a camping trip from the scooter for an overnight I've always wanted to try that and this place is so close why not so I think we're gonna have some interesting adventures in this little campground it's a lot quieter than I expected it to be so that was good all right so we're going to leave the camera rolling on the dashboard here on the way out here so you can get a look at some of what the campground looks like. It's got a lot of uh, like winding roads there as you get out, so that's kind of fun. And uh, otherwise, remember, slow down and enjoy life, and we'll catch you in the next one.